After the Cultural Revolution, after the Communists came to power, the tea industry was basically collapsed. And China made a concerted effort to reverse that. And the farmers relied on the government to give them directions. And that direction was through modern fertilizers, which greatly increased their harvests, but it wasn't until a few years later that they started witnessing the downside of these modern fertilizers. The farmers know they don't use chemicals on their own food. They use traditional ways, and the food tastes good, it's healthy. And many of the teas I was getting were of that type. But if you're growing commercially, it's a whole different situation. It's unbelievable to me that we can legally dump millions of tons of toxic carcinogenic chemicals into our environment on our food, and yet it's totally legal. The food that is generated through factories and less organic means isn't really life-sustaining. It's produced because it's a business and because someone makes a profit from it. Real food has nothing to do with that aspect. We've lost the connection with food coming from the earth. There's so much that goes on in good, healthy soil. There's all these little microorganisms. And it's very important to feed the soil so that all this life can generate itself. The Earth has been feeding itself through worms and composting for millions of years. That's an egg capsule. So in about three or four days, that will hatch into maybe a dozen worms. Worms are perhaps the most important link in the sustainability of life on the planet. They take plants and waste and refuse and turn it into one of nature's finest fertilizers. And the soil is what grows our food, is what grows life on the planet. And when the soil is killed, it kills everything else along with it. They're having so the main, main, main problem for them is to solve uh, make, uh, make, make another type of uh, chemical fertilizer. It's easier for the farmer. Are they interested in earthworms? Yes, they are. Uh, no, it's, 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 it's the poop that comes out of the worm, the shit. The shit. The shit. The shit. They eat, it goes in one side, and the other eye, it comes out. Yeah. This is the fertilizer. This is the fertilizer? Yeah, how do you so say? So it means this, this is the food for, the, for this animal. Uh, how do you say? Um, when you eat, and then you have to go to the toilet. Yeah, right. What is this called? Ah, From worms. <laughs> oh, yes, I understand. This is the fertilizer. Some worms live up, some yeah. worms live down, and some go up and down. Do you know who Charles Darwin is? Charles Darwin was a naturalist who lived 120 years ago, very famous. His last book he wrote was on the earthworm. And he said, he said 120 years ago that he felt that there was no other creature as important to life as the earthworm.
We will provide all the fertilizer for free in return for some tea. He said he will give you free tea. But you have to provide tea. This is pure worm excrement. Yeah. So just put it on the soil of the tea field. If it comes from the earth, the worms will digest it. When you make rice, yeah. the chaff from the rice. Yeah. When you make uh, soybeans, yeah. the waste from the soybeans, all these things. And then the worms will eat everything and give you this. They're definitely taking it serious. I've given them the analytical reports from the lab and it was fully 10% water soluble nitrogen. What more could you ask for with the organic fertilizer? They want it, they, they know what it does, but it involves a huge reorganization of their way of doing things.